friends, it's me. And you know what? I actually learn a lot of things on TikTok. If you guys ever wonder what happens when you put a chili pepper in a Venus flytrap, excuse me, sir, this ain't a fly. What's going on here? <gasps> I just witnessed a murder. Try to eat the chili pepper and then it died. Well, 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 how the tables have turned. I'm a Venus fly trap. I only eat flies. You know, humans are the only creatures dumb and brave enough to eat chili peppers. Okay, I always, always, always wonder this. Like whenever you see a product placement in a movie, they don't have to put hashtag ad, but we have to. So what is the deal behind this? Apple has a strict rule that villains in movies are not allowed to use Apple products. So if you're watching a movie and you're trying to figure out who the bad guy is, or if you think that a character is gonna turn into a bad guy and then that character uses an iPhone or any Apple product, spoiler alert, that character is not the villain. Wow. I feel like every single movie that I'm ever gonna watch is already spoiled. So if they have any kind of Apple product, they're a good guy. They can absolutely not be a bad guy. No Apple products for the bad guys. Why though? So bad guys gotta use Android phones? Give them the good old Nokia brick phone. I'm gonna subconsciously think about this every single time I watch a movie. I found this very disturbing. I've never seen a hamster give birth until now. for a hot second. It's just a piece of chicken. The way he wiggles it and they all fall out. Oh, look like Swedish fish. And then I thought he cooked the hamster. Gotta feed the babies. But no, it's just food. Okay, okay, okay. God, I hate hamsters. They're cute and all, but blame Overwatch. I've never hated something more than I've hated Hammond. So somebody recorded this video of a helicopter landing, but it's crazy because you don't see the blades spinning. Why aren't they spinning? Why are they just stopped? How are you flying? You can't do that. Oh wait, that's a glitch. That hasn't been patched yet. So the explanation behind this is that the camera's shutter speed is basically going the same speed as the shutters. Camera records 30 FPS. Helicopter blades move at 500 FPS. Am I just dumb or did nobody else know this either? These little flat spots on ice cube trays are where you're supposed to fill in the water. So it just goes in so nicely to all four. Instead, I've been doing this my whole life. <laughs> Literally me my whole entire life. Smash like if you didn't know this. You know, patience is a virtue. I'll be running under the water like this. Then I turn down the water a bit and then I go for a round two and really fill them up. But they're never like even or anything. When you could have just been hitting the squares in the middle and it evenly fills everything so nicely. Imagine making these ice cube trays and people had no idea until now. So this girl had identical twins, and this is our theory on how it happened. My husband and I were trying to get pregnant, and I thought I was pregnant, and I was testing negative, and I thought, oh, I'm just crazy, it's in my brain. So we decided to go to a theme park, and I rode every freaking ride, crazy roller coasters and twisty rides, upside down rides. I was getting super motion sick, so I knew something was up, because I never get sick on rides. I find out a few days later that I was pregnant, and then a few weeks later, I found out I was having identical twins. So after my doctor told me all this stuff, I was asking a bunch of questions, and I guess there's literally like a one day window when your egg splits to make identical twins, and it was that day. I'm pretty sure sure that I scrambled my egg. <laughs> so apparently this is a real thing because several other people commented, oh yeah, I went to Disneyland on that one window day. Thought it was possible to scramble the eggs. I haven't done any more research, so I don't know if there's a more scientific explanation, but that's what we got. You want twins? You know what to do. When dad watches five minute crafts, decides to try out the lawn hacks. Oh yes. So apparently this works. I've heard about this, but I've never seen it like in action. You take a pole, tie a rope to it, attach it to your lawnmower, and it just goes in circles until it's completely winded up. That's actually pretty genius. Chickens are gyroscopic, which means you can move their bodies all around, but their heads stay in relatively the same place. Whoa! My dude's head just chilling like this. Watch his head, it's not even moving it. He's like, you done? That's weird. But now you know. Chickens are only delicious, but they're gyroscopic. 
Have you ever wondered how clocks work? How do they function? So there is literally a man in a clock at the Amsterdam airport and he paints a new line every single minute. He, then he has to make sure the line is perfect. Do you think he's real? Bro, do my eyes deceive me? He's real, he'd just be chilling inside there. But come on, every minute? I can imagine every hour, but imagine just drawing a straight line every minute. I love my job. That's gotta be like top 10 worst jobs out there. So this girl has her bed hanging from the ceiling like this. How do you go to bed? How do you get up there? Okay, imagine being exhausted or after a crazy night out trying to go to bed like that and then just what if you mess up that flip on the way down? The arm strength required can't relate. Oh, but she does have a set of stairs just in case. <laughs> So to anyone who didn't know, Krispy Kreme throws away all of their donuts in the garbages <laughs> outside their buildings. And if you guys want some free donuts, um, they've got you. Seriously? Are you sure they got you? Or this good old dumpster out back got you? I mean, they gotta go somewhere at the end of the day. They bake them fresh every morning. Now I really want to check a Krispy Kreme dumpster. You know, just to make sure. It's a whole entire donut graveyard. The bodies of all the dough that didn't make it. Me. Takes a donut. Maybe it'll be original cream. Maybe it'll be chocolate. Maybe E. coli. Who knows? This was just super fascinating. The way that this dude just made the most perfect circle, it's all in the flick of the wrist. Boom! So artists have this contraption that might look pretty familiar to you. You basically roll up the tube of paint and there's barely any paint left. Oh, and it like permanently folds it and pushes all the paint to the top. Why don't we have this for a toothpaste? Oh man, it's just so satisfying rolling it into the thing. Every household need to have one of these. The fact that you can dye a pond. So their pond has always been doo-doo brown, mucky and gross. So they just took a ton of blue dye, picked some buckets of it, took it on a little boat, and poured it around the entire pond. And then now, as you can see, it's getting bluer and bluer. And whoa, it actually looks really nice. Wow. But I didn't even know this was possible. Dirty Lake, suck the dirt out of it. Not paint it. Okay, now y'all better do red for Halloween. <laughs> Imagine going for a walk and then stumbling upon a bloody pond. No thank you. Canadian things Americans think are weird, part four. Yes, our milk does come in bags. Typically, it's three bags within one larger bag. You can still get cartons, and some people will do this, but it's way more popular for people to drink it out of these bags. I cannot tell you the amount of times I have cut the hole for those bags too big, and the milk's gone all over the countertop. Also, we put it in these pitchers, and that's how we store it in the fridge. Milk bags? Hey, Canadian folk, please confirm in the comments below. Y'all be drinking milk in bags? I mean, yeah, it kind of makes sense because it's like less wasteful to use like a big old thing of plastic, but That'd be so weird to like go to the store and get milk in a bag. We call these the moo bags. Y'all put it in a pitcher. I'm confused because I've never heard of this. Y'all ever wondered how somebody with extremely long fingernails washes their hands? Okay, so you guys want to see me wash my hands. Before we get into the hand washing, can we see how you wipe? Turning on the water. So they don't the regular long nails. Those are weapons. Scrub, make sure I get the soap everywhere. Okay. And I can do this without getting my fingers wet. You know, soap on the nails. Yes, they get a bath too. I would hope the nails get a bath too. Get them wet. I'll move to the side. Okay, I'm getting grossed out how they clack it all over the sink. Imagine doing this in a public bathroom. They gonna keep getting dirty before they can ever get clean. Wash. Between the fingers. Okay. And then rinse. Okay, but are they rinse clean though? Nails. There you go. Okay, I'm a little confused on this one. How do you eat chicken wings? I'm just so confused. So this is part of Russian culture. In Russia, we don't say, Oh, girl, you're so beautiful today. I love your dress. In Russia, we say, This is insane because it's so accurate. I've seen this on TV. Look on 90 Day Fiance, they'll always like look at you like. And I had this friend in college, she was Russian. I thought she secretly didn't like me because she'd always like look at me and just be like. 
mean mugging me and like giving me a dirty look or whatever. And I'm like, what? I thought we were supposed to be friends. But she would also always tell me how pretty I looked. So I'm like, wait, wh why are you looking at me like that? Like, do you secretly not like me? But like, this was just a whole thing that I did not know. It's like, why compliment somebody? Where you go, look them up and down, mean mug them. So one time when I was like, I don't know, 16, I went to the dentist and as she was cleaning my teeth, she was like, hey, do you talk a lot? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, yeah, I can tell. You have a fat tongue and people with fat tongues tend to talk a lot. And I was like, okay. And it's information that's like haunted me. Like it sticks with me. I'm always thinking about it. And so now I'm a little curious to know if someone else has a fatter tongue than me. So if you think you do, do wet this. All right. So this is what my tongue looks like. Oh, Y'all see how big that is? I mean, tell him by this TikTok, I could tell you talk a lot. I wonder if that also like works out her jaw. It's like so chiseled. Her jaw never skipped chin day. So if you have a fat tongue, you talk a lot. Dude duetting this, this is probably the longest he's ever went without saying a word. Oh my God, I thought my shadow was a spider. I always wondered how much money people make when they make an app game. Like, is it profitable? So this dude answered all my questions. For Hoverboard Drift Simulator, total revenue was 97K. These were all the costs, majority coming from advertising. Total cost was about 13K, and that's the profit. Whoa. So it cost only $12,000 to make a mobile game, and then he made 83,000 profit. Hey, that's pretty dang good. Okay. I just found out the Apple store will get rid of an app that is review has reviews and it's less than a one. It'll get rid of the app. And so on Google Classroom, all these high schoolers and kids are rating the app. So it'll get removed so they don't have to do class anymore. Oh no! Y'all some geniuses out there. Y'all are gonna go places and we ain't talking about class. Lottery hack. So if you get a scratch off lottery ticket with a white line on the top, it is a winning ticket. It works every time. Oh, it's quick money. How long did it take to discover this? Now we gotta go back into that Mr. Beast video. See how much money he really won. These are just some really cool keychains that are actually lighters. Whoa. <gasps> the fire extinguisher too. No, you're supposed to put out fire. That's illegal. And then the deck of cards. And they got that green fire. Very cool. I don't know about you guys, but when I get chicken tenderloins, this nasty little tendon drives me insane. And I like destroying my chicken trying to get it out. Because I absolutely refuse to cook chicken with any sort of tendon or ligament or any of that. We don't want any of that. I call these the yucky part. Some people, they just be eating it. They don't even notice it. But me, I can't. And so I'm always cutting around it. I didn't know you could just like hold on to it and then skirt. Pull it off like that. That's gross. I hate these things. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys learned something new, make sure to hit that like button and the yes! and comment below. Let me know what it was. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And make sure you subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.